All right, guys, so here is behind the scenes. Again, this car still has yet to run. This is the 5th or 6th of July. And it's just, it's there's a lot that's been going on. But like I said, you're not gonna see this video till the cars ran. So I was kind of giving you a quick little update of the little differences that you've seen from the last time it was being built on. And I don't remember last time what it looked like from when you guys have seen it. But fenders are on, they're all built. A little more work to do on the front end, not much. We've been playing with paint ideas, which you now know the name of this car, so I can say it, the name is Bullet. Um, so that's kind of what that was thinking of, but we, my buddy and I have gone through a million designs, like holy cow, a lot of designs. And we finally settled on one and it's not going to change. So you will see eventually a time-lapse video or just a fast forward video of us painting the car. <clears throat> New tires are indeed on it. I did get them mounted. Here are the other ones, which you might remember these. These were on the turd. Kinda got them mounted on Cavalier rims. This car sits a lot higher. Um, I'm not gonna give the trick away. I mean, some people already know, but I'm not gonna give the trick away of why it's sitting tire higher other than the tires. But there's some more things going on with it. So it's sitting a lot higher up in the front. The bumper is a lot higher. <clears throat> Eventually, I'm gonna change this roll cage because this just annoys the heck out of me. I wanna cut it here so it's landed but that's just looks it really doesn't do anything um inside the car i'm still not going to show you a lot of it just because it's more secretive ish stuff eventually it won't matter but uh seats in battery boxes in seat belts are in i still got to put the cover on the uh, seat itself i gotta figure out what i'm doing with the uh computer that's in it it's zip tied right now but i don't like it back end actually still needs work and i look at it and think why it's done well there's some bracing that we got to do within this so that's got to be done oh that's one thing you haven't seen we had a plan to use hold on a second I had a plan on using this round tubing for the rear wheel wells because i had the wheel wells just like flat, flat plated all over i don't know if you can see right now with the dark in here actually lost, lost power so anyways this was just flat over and i wanted to keep it that way but i could not actually get these donuts off and so we had designed to cut that out and actually put round tubing in there well i didn't like that after thinking about some things so we changed some stuff up and we're going to end up getting probably cutting a little bit more of this off i don't know and bracing this up a bit more and on the back there might be some more bracing and maybe strut to strut type of things but uh other than that this car is just about ready to go so that's coming along i guess here's a, i guess kind of a mini hint oh yeah when window net is in as well that's all if anybody wants to know how to build a window net, let me know and I can show you how you build these. They're really easy. I mean, not the net itself, but you know, how to hook it up or whatever. Really that simple, but I can show you more in depth. But I don't know if you saw before kind of how these little spikes are. That's kind of a hint of what the uh, paint, paint scheme is going to look like. Not exactly, but you know kind of and like i said the colors for this car are going to be blue as you can see gray and a green hopefully like another lime green because i normally like my blue and lime green colors so uh as of right now this is where it stands i'm hoping to be able to make it to munger this year and that might be the debut of this car which if that is true you've already seen this video because it's after Munger. But uh, 
one thing I'm proud of myself, I'm not the greatest welder in the world. I'm, I'm never ever going to be, trust me on that one. But I've only ever used my dad's old Chicago 220 and then I've, I'm good at stick. I will say I'm a good stick welder. I'm not good at MIG. Never really have been. But I got my buddy's welder over here and he's got a Lincoln Electric, what is it, Wellpack 180 HD, whatever that all means. But I've actually been doing really good at these welds. I've gotten to learn his machine and I believe these are my welds. I'm trying to remember. No, those ain't. Uh, I know these are, put it this way. These are all my welds. These might be my buddies, but I can't remember. But, I mean, I'm starting to learn how to stack dimes. <laughs> Not the greatest. Now these, I can say these are all mine, but they're painted over, so it's hard for you to even see them. But, uh, oh, here you go. This is the much better side that I had. But yeah, like I said, I'm never going to be the greatest welder in the world, but I'm starting to get it. And I used to weld in high school, so I knew the concept and all that. It's just I haven't done it since high school. And I'm already through college and all that other stuff, and I haven't done any of that since. But when it comes to stick welding, I can actually do that. Stick welds, where is that from? Actually, I think almost this whole side is for me stick welding. There's some little spots, but that's stick weld. All of this here on the back, that's all me stick weld, which looks kind of cruddy, but it's not bad. I mean, right there, yeah, all mine, stick weld. So, I mean, I'm much better at stick. I always have been, but to each their own. People prefer one over the other. People say one's better than the other, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so here's, I guess, your mini update on and behind the scenes update before this car is actually built. Or, sorry, before this car is actually ran. Um, yeah, <laughs> I wish I could show you guys more. I wish I could tell you every little mini thing I've done to this car. But I'm trying to build this channel. I can't give you all every little secret right away. So, and again, I'm trying to build my channel into the figure eight channel. You got a lot of the other guys that do just the derbies, and I like that too. I like to show you tips and tricks on that. But you don't see a specific figure eight channel. So I'm going to try to start doing that more and more, giving you guys tricks. Please, guys, if you're out there and you're watching this, spread it out. Spread my name out to your buddies. You know, I'm not I'm not being no, no stupid YouTuber, but... I like to be able to say, "Hey, I'm the the figure eight guy on YouTube." That'd be kind of cool. But uh, and then if I ever got so lucky to have a sponsorship, you know, Lincoln Electric sponsors me a welder, and some other company sponsors me a chop saw, and blah blah blah. That would just that'd make my day. I'd be so happy. So, uh, anyways, me blabbering on. There is a little update on Bullet before the racing starts for it. And I can't wait to get this car on the track.